Excuse me. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai Baha Shem, Rekaha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone of whom I learn from daily. Healthy shalom to you, brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. You know, I'm, I'm going to read this. Excuse me. You know, brothers beat. I'm tired. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know. Uh, but we we gotta we gotta get these lessons in. We gotta feed the sheep. So it is what it is. This is Deuteronomy twenty eight verse. Matter of fact, you should you should want to stay on fire any damn way. That's what's up. That's the truth. All right, on fire. Call Hello Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Deuteronomy twenty eight verse fifteen. Listen, Israel. Listen up now. Listen to this. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy power. See that. All right, to observe and to do all its commandments and its statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these what curses is a curse, a good thing. See that in a way it was for us. Why? Because it gave us a chance for the grace period. It gave us a chance to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So this this these curses were actually a blessing on who on the elect. All right. That all these curses shall come upon thee and <clears throat> overtake thee, right? It said what? Overtake thee. So I'm going to play this clip I got from the brother I'm going to want to You know, he sent it to me on TikTok. All right? It's, 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 hey, chill out. See these dumb dogs again, man? See? I'm telling you. If you want a dog, come and get them. You know, they, uh, they, they are free 99. That's how much they are, okay? <laughs> anyway, it's this old Jake, man. You know, going into, uh, I forget, he's having some interview with some some uh, younger Jake, if you will, older cat. You know, you, you'll get to see it. You know, he talking about it with 40 acres and a mule, not the old cat, but the young guy. You know, we, we have been better off. Nah, man. Nah, we was better off getting chastised by your how about Shimmy on Shy. Again, so we could what? Uh, be changed by what? The renewing of our minds. All right. So check this out. Got 40 acres and a mule when they freed us. We ain't never been free. Oh man. Uh, that's free shit. what? Free to do what? That's what free to go get a white man's job and go watch him football and watch him basketball and buy a little old Jerry. Free. Free to do what? You don't make no law. You don't manufacture nothing. You don't produce nothing. So where's your freedom at? And if the Negro don't have that white boy, he in trouble. He don't know how to eat. He don't know how to eat. The only way he don't know how to eat, he got to go fill out an application. They got to go get that job. Got to stay on that job and do what the master said do. So giving us 40 acres would have been giving us too much power back then. They ain't going to give you shit. <laughs> That's Why? Weird. They ain't gave you nothing in all these years. They give an immigrant. A refugee, more than they get slave descent, now they might give you something because you got a Nigerian. You consider the immigrant. I go up there and ask them or something, well, well, yeah, I'll give you shit. You got to still take what you want. Fuck you. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. No, please. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, but they ain't give you nothing. They ain't giving you nothing when they give you 40 acres in a the mule. They come over and took this land from the Indians. Now, how they going to give me something? It's God's land. God put this land here for man. You done gathered it all up. Now you're going to dictate to what you're going to do on it, too. That's 1,700 law. Man. Right. So, yeah, the older, the older Jake, you know, he had a whole lot to say, right? And, you know, he wasn't lying. He wasn't lying about it. He, of course, a little bit later on in the video, you know, he's going off about this and that. You know, not knowing... You know, the terror of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, really not knowing, the, having the fear either, okay? Because, you know, you're not old wine bottles. Jake thinks he knows something and don't know a damn thing. If, it, if it's not of this Bible, you don't know nothing. And that's the truth. Verse 16. Uh, and, and this, yeah, man. Oh, boy. Vexed in the spirit all the time. Uh, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be what in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. You see? What, 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 what the, uh, the elder dude, the old Jake, what'd he say? Well, you ain't got nothing. You know, what freedom? 
You know, a lot of a lot of Jakes just don't understand that we are yet to stay in our captivity. You know, which is which, uh, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, about Shimei Yamashah will soon come to an end. They don't they have no idea what's going on. Again, it would behoove you to listen to the prophets. Curse shall be the basket of thy store. You see that? You, uh, 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 your businesses, you know, you know, you got Jake's talking about they're going to do this. Uh -uh, don't do that. Stop. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. They're going to buy 28 acres and grow some wine, you know, grow some grapes for some wine. You know, they, uh, they, they're not hating their lives. Yeah, he that, he that what shall lose his life, life shall what? Shall uh, uh, gain his life. He that hates this place, uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing. It's lucky. I'm, I'm, I'm beat. You know, all day long, man. Just beat. The scripture said they wear out the prophets too. You know, but everything you set your hand to do, if it be of this world, it's going to come to naught. And that's just the truth. And you, you got to swallow that. That's the bitterness of the Bible. Okay? Verse 18. Cursed shall, sh shall be the fruit of thy body. I feel it. And the fruit of thy land, you see. And the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Passover's coming up, right? Didn't the scripture say we're supposed to have a firstling? You know? Firstborn? Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Salaki, I believe it says a male. And if I'm wrong, Salaki, for that. Somebody please correct me on the comment board because I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> if loving you was wrong, I don't want to be right. Salaki, I had I had to, you know, but, you know, we don't, hey, we don't have a, a vast fields of, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables and, 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 you know, cattle. We don't we don't have that. We, 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 in, a, we in captivity. But the Jake, you know, he asked him, well, do you think we'd be better off then? The answer is no. Why? Because, hey, man, Jake. Uh, Northern and Southern Kingdom, where they had thriving communities, and what did Esau eat them do? Right, in Micah two and verse one through three through five. What did they do? Come in and take and covet fields and take them by violence. You see, Yahweh Shem Yahushai has set this man up over his children. What for chastisement? Because we went off. You know, even back up here in Deuteronomy twenty eight and verse one. Then you jump down to fifteen. You can read it all. Let's read it again. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body. And cursed, and, and the fruit of thy land, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. See? The Lord, Yahweh, shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand to do. You see that? All right? Unto for to do. All right? Un, until... Thou be what destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, thereby thou has forsaken me. See, we went the hell off, man. Other idols, all kinds of different witchcrafts, you know, just not believing, you know, turning your back, turning your shoulder on your how about him, you shy. He doesn't take pleasure in that. You are supposed to be doing the will of the father. Let's move on down. Ooh. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that not happen to us? Northern and Southern Kingdom. Matter of fact, uh, Northern Kingdom was, was on them uh, slave ships first. See, a lot of Jakes don't know that. You still you still got that BOI uh, uh, type of uh, mentality. And if you don't understand, you know what that means? It means black only Israelites. That's another stronghold, black people, white people. Jake, you, you're going to have to, you're going to have to start, you know, uh, we're not here. We're here to compel you, not to convince you. Because if it's in you, it's going to come out. Does that make sense? All right. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people and thy eyes shall look and fail with long with longing for them all the day long and there shall be no might in thine hand we don't have we, we don't have no might in our hand every other nation whether they be Hamites that look like Jake right ye Ethiopians as the children of uh, Israel unto me why because we look you know we look like them in certain features you know especially in a uh, uh, skin color if you will but ye Ethiopians what shall also be slain by my sword we don't own anything 
and 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 what you see and, and they in, in, in the kingdom it ain't gonna be no taxes you know you oh know, well not like esau edom does it you know and my phone had to chime on that one right there it ain't gonna be no uh you know like centurion police officers no no uh vitamins in the grocery store i heard that from the brother of mafia ice earlier today when i was watching their camp up there in uh, dc you know here it is the, the food won't be defiled i'm, I'm gonna speak about it you, you go into the grocery store and you buy what you go into the grocery store to buy food right what is food supposed to do it's supposed to nourish your body but this this madman he's crazy esau edom has taken all the nutrients and made everything a damn gmo every damn thing's gmo and you got, and then they sell vitamins in the grocery store, but the damn groceries, your food is supposed to nourish your body in the first place. You see how sick this man is? You see that? Okay. And there shall be no might in thine hand, the fruit of thy land, and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. See that? Always, all the time. So when these jakes come up with questions like, man, you know, we can, you, we, the community, we, we need to, you're not doing nothing. Get off of them street corners. You remember that? <laughs> I did a re-up, you know, of, of that video, the, the, the Elder Monat the Zogba, right? Get off of them street, street corners. Dude, y'all not helping the black people. Doing nothing for the community. <laughs> you see that? You're doing nothing for the community. Well, you know what? Two thirds. The scripture said, "Pray not for these people anyway." Two thirds gotta go. We don't. Hey, we don't. We can't do nothing for you anyhow. Two thirds. It's that's a number. That's, it's written. Can't do nothing for you. See, verse thirty-three: "The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always." And we we, we are crushed people, man. You know, let's go. Let's move on down. Said, "Thou shalt put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee." Where that at? It's it's right here somewhere. Mm. Is it forty-eight? Yeah, yep, yeah, forty-eight. There it is, right there. Salakia. All right. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies? What thine enemies? Damn shit! Was they our friends? We just a, some, was just was just some old buddies. No, they've been uh, Esau, Edom, and the rest of these nations. Why? Because they they live deliciously with this damn great whore too. All right, they all hate you, man. That their hatred is uh is is plain upon table. Can't you see it? Therefore shall I serve thine enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger. This is everything right here now. And in thirst, you hungry and you're thirsty, where well, you gotta go, you gotta go get this GMO food. Where it where it don't even nourish your body. And in nakedness, all your clothing. And you, you see, man, Jake. Jake, well, I'm just gonna go to black our black owned stores, man. Well, well, they got to pay taxes. You know, uh, uh these uh so-called uh you want know, black uh farmers or whatever. <laughs> you know? And even even now. I think it was Apostle Tahar said it or Apostle Bar. Salaki, I forget which one said it. You know, it's, it's Apostle Tahar. He was talking about go, uh, going into, well, everything we eat is defiled simply anyway because most of these uh, you Midwest farmers or whatnot, hey, most of these Midwest farmers, you know, hey, they praying to what? Jeebus. Jeebus cross. Jeebus cross. You know, pop locking. No, they don't pop lock, you know, but that's what they praying to. So the food is defiled and it's already prayed over by a, what a false idol. You see? All right, and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. See? And did that not happen? Uh, they only show you know pictures of so-called Negroes. All right? But it happened to the Northern Kingdom too. It happened, it happened to them also. All right. Woo! Verse 49. I can't I can't get out of Deuteronomy. The Lord Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. Uh-oh. In, in, in every, every one of these Edomite nations, they always have what? The, as that mascot, for lack of better words, what? An eagle. Am I, am I wrong or am I right? 
There's always an eagle, right? See? They, they crouch down and swoop down and look at you. What does an eagle do? You know? He's, he's got the superior eyesight. You know? And he, what does he do? He swoops down on his on his uh, prey and scoops him up. And his talons are ripping and shred you apart. Didn't the scripture say that should be a, a what? Only oppressed and spoiled? It's, it's, it's right here in Deuteronomy 28 chapter. You see, a lot of Jakes just don't understand that. We are yet to stay in our captivity. Baruch 3 and verse 8. See? Oh, man. You know, hey, but the end, brothers, brothers and sisters, whoever may be listening to this epistle, and the end of him, whoo, is is Elder Yashawama did a video just the other day, and it was it was fire. He said he had so many precepts he couldn't bring them all out. It was fire talking about the end. The end. Hey, when Esau eat him, he's through, man. Woo! Oh boy, the Lord Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle fly. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A, a what? A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. These prophecies happened. Okay? But you see, you know, hey, this epistle right here is, is to reiterate and to really and to let you know that these, hey, these words, this Bible is true. It's always been true. And it's and there's certain prophecies that hadn't happened yet, and we're telling you about them. We're telling you before. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh has commanded us to tell you what is how's he put it. Give them warning from me. Warning from what? The, the, the set perils. It didn't say the things that may happen. No, 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 no. It said all of these, his, his words not going to go out void. See? His words don't go out void. Jeremiah 50, verse 31. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. I'm proud to be in the man. What the hell are you proud of? See? Well, at least I know I'm free. Shh, give me a break. This is it's a land of captivity. Hey, look, the brother right there. Brother, I'm going to want to bother right there. All right. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right. Of host, for thy days is come. What? Thy days is come. The time that I will visit thee. You want a visitation from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? You want him to visit you in, in this capacity? I don't think so. Uh, uh, what's that show? In Living Color, he said, homie, don't play that. Okay? And this is no joking matter here. This is life and death, Israel. You better listen. You better listen. Verse 32. And the most proud shall stumble and fall. And none shall rise. What? None shall raise him up. You can't raise. You cannot raise him up. And I will kindle a, what a fire in his cities. Uh, that a uh, Kindle fire. No, I ain't talking about no damn tablet from Amazon neither. See that? He gonna kindle a fire. Them ICBMs. It gonna hit. It's gonna go boom, 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 boom. And it's gonna it's gonna be a a, a, a a tractor beam pulling up the Israelites. And in the midst of that, in the twinkling of an eye, getting new bodies. And it's gonna be people's hearts failing in fear with the the strangeness of his salvation. There's so many scriptures. Why do you think the scriptures go into it and tell you? It tells you very plainly that people are going to, oh my gosh, what is going on here? We said, we said, you jakes, man. Screw the rest of these people. All right? All right? Screw the two-thirds at that. You know, but the two-thirds, I call, what's going on, Jesus? What did they say is now? Oh, for God. Because you wasn't listening. You was proud along with them. You eating crumbs from the master's table. You don't know you still in captivity. You know, Jake's just an asshole, man. All right? But the most proud get ready to get toe up from the flow up. Okay? And the most proud shall be uh, stubble, Salakia. Yep, that's where I was. And fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him, each and every part of it. The tenth part of the city fell. Didn't it say that? Is it ten FEMA zones here in Babylon? Didn't it say he's going to leave them neither root nor branch? This place is going to be a damn desert. Verse 33, thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. What the hell that happened? See? And all that took them captives, captives, that's, a, that's slavery, isn't it? Held them fast and they refused to let them go. You hear what that old Jake said? 
He said, when, 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 when were we freed? When, when the hell did that happen? It never happened. Okay? Woo. Verse 34, their redeemer is what? Strong. What's a redeemer? Look words up. That's why we look words up. What's a redeemer? Let's look up redeemer. Redeemer. Uh, you know, say if you got a, uh, what do you call it? Like a voucher or whatever. You Then you take that voucher in and you redeem it. All right, let's go. Redeemer, definition. What's the definition of redeemer? A person who redeems something, someone or something. You know, and, oh, and right there it says the C word. Uh, you know, if and if a if, if this was I U I C, they'd have said it quick. Christ, 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 I U I C. Yeah, you, you, y'all bugged out, man. And that break, that breakdown that y'all were going into about there was no more C, man. That was whack. That was that was that was wacko, man. That was whack, man. Straight up. That was whack. Uh, it just was, man. My goodness. Their redeemer is strong. The Lord Yahweh of hosts, which means army, is his name. Oh, see that? The people say, well, you don't know what his name is. It said, it said, what does it say right here? It said, the Lord of hosts is his name. And his name is what? Yahweh. See, how are you supposed to know? Proverbs 4, verse 3, right? 3, verse 4, Salakia. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Uh oh, somebody is through stew, and I thought you knew. Uh huh. Let's read this. Verse 35 A sword is upon the Chaldeans, the Edomites, man. A sword. Uh huh. Saith the Lord Yahweh, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon. And then it said, it said, what? The Chaldeans and the inhabitants. Are we not yet this day in our captivity? Do they not refuse to let us go? Didn't the scripture tell? What did the scripture say? If I find them in your hand, I'm going to put you to death. That's what he said. You know, I paraphrased it. Didn't he? They that what? Uh, take a uh, steal of a man. Or if he be found in his hand, they shall surely be put to death. That's how the scripture goes right there. All right. I got to stop paraphrasing and read the scriptures. All right. The Chaldeans. A sword is upon the what? The liars. That your enemies shall be found liars, right? And they shall dote. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Call hello, ya how about shim ya was I only got a couple more. Let's go. This is beautiful. Okay? It's the truth. And the truth shall make you free, right? Baruch 3 and verse 8. Behold. What does it say? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou has what? Scattered us. Man, all the Israelites are black, man. Black people. What did he say? He scattered He scattered what the Israelites were. To the four corners of the earth. Everywhere. Are you not of the seed of your father? Come on, man. Don't be so simple. You got to listen to these scriptures. All right. Whether the Lord has scattered us for, for what? A reproach and a what? A curse. Didn't we just read some of them curses in Deuteronomy 28 chapter? Huh? According to all the iniquities. Uh-uh-uh. A curse. Salakia. I skipped the line. And to be subject to what? Payments. Everywhere we go, we got to pay. We pay something. You know, thou shalt lend. That's the, thou shalt lend. He shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. They all own all the banks. in 1948ers. Small hat. Tic tac. Demons, see? Oh boy! Ugh. And to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our powers. That was the whole problem in the first place. So what does he do? He put the hammer of the earth above him, above Slakia, above us. And I said that wrong. I'm tired. Isaiah, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of this damn place. Isaiah 42 and verse 22. But this people, what? This people robbed and spoiled. <laughs> they are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. This whole earth is a prison house, isn't it? It's a whole it's a whole prison house to the Israelites. Everybody else has had their constellation. See, but now they're going to get what rewarded two times over for what? Putting their hands on the apple of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's eye, which in fact is the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, speckled bird Israelites. 
that's what's up. All right. And 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 all the yet when I say speckled bird, I mean every Israelite on this planet that's gonna come looking like I don't it don't matter. It don't matter what you look like. That's why we test that spirit. It don't matter what you look like. If you look like a, 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 a Moab or Ammon, it don't matter. If you if you look like Ishmael or a damn Edomite, it don't matter. If looks could kill, right? <laughs> Salakia. Inside joke. All right. <laughs> they are for a prey and none delivereth. For a spoil and none saith restore. See that? He was going to, what was he talking about? The reparations. Ain't nobody said restore. You know, you did, as, as that older dude was talking about, an uh, immigrant could come in here. I just did a lesson yesterday about this. All right? Them Haitians, what? They was trying to come in. They uh, And Esau Eden was running them off on horses, man. All right? But they had a spread and, and tents, and, and now they got nice houses for them damn Nazis that uh, that they, that call themselves uh, uh, Ukraine, Ukrainians or whatever the hell. You see that? Come on, give me a break, man. Who? Am, let's read this right here. Verse 23. Hey. Who among you will give ear to this? Who's going who's gonna to listen to this word? The elect? That's, the elect's going to listen. Salakia. I'm thinking I'm think about doing something to that dog right now. All right, anyway. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear... The time to come. Who will give ear to this? The elect. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Who did that? Come on now. Jeez. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? The robbers, right? That's, that's all they do. Is Salakia. I'm, I'm telling you who gave Jacob for a spoil in Israel to the robbers did not the Lord Yahweh he against whom we have sinned see that for they would not walk in his ways neither will were they obedient unto his law didn't we just read that they wouldn't listen two thirds is the same way right now the earth is given it to the hand of the wicked who gave it to him let's read it Job 9 verse 24 we all know what it says the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He, he, uh, he. If you can, if you can receive it, now Isaac was your shy. Did he not give him his blessing? Right, the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He, he did, did that. If not, where and who is he, man? Rhetorical question. Huh? He, this, he, these dudes are devils, man. Straight up. Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter, what matter? Everything that we, everything we're saying that we commanded to speak and tell the truth of. This matter is by the decree of the what? The watchers. Who's, watch, who's watching? And the demand by the word of the holy ones. That means separate, the separate ones. The hidden ones, as it talks about in uh, Psalms 83rd chapter. Right? Psalms 83rd chapter. The hidden ones. Okay, to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. That's further proof. What the base men, they, they, they were violent in the earth, grunting and groaning. Uh, uh, uh. They're going back to the caves, baby. <laughs> you see that? It's so easy. A caveman can do it. But hey, you just wait and see. You just wait and see Esau eat him. You think you're going to skirt away? Nah. But that's what your inner thought is, right? Huh? I know you listening. I know you listening. You going into slavery, boy. Isaiah 5 verse 15. And the, and the, and the mean man shall be brought down. And the mighty man shall be humbled. And the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. Woo -woo. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment and the most high power that is holy a separate again shall be what sanctified in righteousness man so in, in the kingdom again it ain't gonna be none of this garbage going on. you no football games damn world series you see uh, was it super bowls there ain't gonna be no world cup 
No, ain't gonna be none of that. Ain't gonna be no African Dodger. You see? In the, uh, no carnivals, cruise ships. Nah, hell no. All right, there's, there's many things like ain't gonna be none of that garbage. It's gonna be righteousness in the kingdom, and the ones who will not serve you shall be what utterly put to death. Oh, let's read about it. Verse eighteen. Well, no, verse seventeen. Then shall the lambs feed after their manner, and the waste places of the fat ones shall shall strangers eat. Verse 18, what does woe mean? Destruction. <laughs> woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity, and sin is as it were with a cart rope. Woo! Whew. Through, through stew, right? Let's get this right here. Now let's, we go, let, let's jump on right back into Deuteronomy, right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, all right, and thou shall come down very low. Did this not happen? Are we not still yet to this day uh, uh, kicked and beaten in the streets? All right, was it last hired, first fired, undesired, even from Eve, even from our women? All right, they high pergamus, you, you look that up. It, it'll make sense to you. Let's read this. Oh, I was, I was quoted this earlier. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Woo! We see the meek of the earth shall what inherit the kingdom. So, hey, man, it's going to be what? It was, that was a spiritual uh, movie title from uh, from that guy, Aaron Russo, man. Which, in fact, let everybody know and let the cat out the bag and said the M-O-T to the B and the C-hip is coming up. And a Rockefeller told him that. Huh? You see? Anyway, that movie Trading Places, it's, it, 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 it's, you know what? It's going to be worse, though. When they trade places with us, we're going to show you how to get how to get down. Can I get down? What? You gonna, we're going to show you how to get down. In righteousness, man. Okay? That's that. Let's see here. Joel 3 and verse 3. And they cast lots. What? And they have cast lots. I think it's going into Tyree and Zidon. Yep. Oh, I got to read from verse one for behold in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Where were they? Oh, where were they? Captives? Jo was it? Jeremiah 15 verse 33. They were what? Oppressed together. Where? In the land of the north in Babylon. Hello. OK, come on, man. I will also gather all nations. Is that not happening? It's the prophecies are happening right now. And we'll bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat decision. Right? Which in fact is over there somewhere with these uh fraudulently called Middle East. Alright? Which in fact is uh, it's a uh, part I think it's a part of Asia. Elder Malcolm has been going pretty heavy into that. And if I'm wrong, please again correct me. The water to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Baba Kashar, Baba Kashar, please correct me. And I will bring them down into the valley of decision. Alright? And we'll plead. With them, you want that visitation? Uh-uh. Right? With them there for what? For my people. That's the Israelites. And for my heritage, Israel. Did, did, did See? See that? Right? <laughs> Whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my land. What with all the joy of their hearts. You got them over there dancing around and, and uh, what, with the biggest LGBC 3PO parade. You know? You know, and it's further scriptures. I could go in like a lot further scriptures. I could go into you proving that, hey, how much I ain't come back yet and set them in their land. You, we didn't hear, ain't nobody heard a voice saying, come up here and hide yourselves for a little while. Matter of fact, we haven't seen that humongous chariot showing up and, and laser beams coming out of the uh, rest of the chariots when it's in fact our, our brothers, the angels, uh, reside in. <laughs> we ain't seen that yet. So I don't know what the hell's going on over there. Just saying. <laughs> and they have what? Cast lots. What's cast lots mean? What does that mean? Auction box, man. Sold. You know? And they would what? Send gifts one to another. Yearly. They would trade, they would trade off slaves. They would trade off uh you know, your your your, your big buck, if you will. They trade him off for breeding farms. Man, they did all kinds of crazy shit, man. All kinds of crazy shit, man. All right. 
And don't get it wrong. I had a question. This one Jake asked me, when we going to do the buck breaking in the kingdom? I was like, man, we ain't going to do none of that garbage. Are you crazy? That's sodomy. Oh, man. I couldn't believe he even asked me that. I'm like, what is, what's going on here? That was a strange question, Ock. But I answered it. All right. They have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot. What's a harlot? What's a boy? You see? And the, the scripture uh, in, in the NIV, in Hebrews 16 through, through 17. You know, Hebrews 16, it says, what, sexually immoral as Esau, man. And that's in the NIV, ESV, certain other uh, uh, scriptures. It's there. It's just going, on, uh, going on across the chat. Is this, uh, this Edomite woman and it done been arrested three or four times for, uh, uh, you know, getting with a, a dog, man. Now the dog got to be killed according to our laws. See, now the dog got to be killed, man. That poor beast. That's crazy. You know, you know Esau Edom is sexually immoral. He's nasty, man. You need to have his wife with another man in front. That's y'all, man. Y'all are some sickos, man. Y'all are some sickos, man. Tyree and Zidon, they the same. Well, they crazy. That's the weirdest and the, uh, oh, I don't know. How do I say it? The most wicked and weird form of Christianity you will ever see, man. They do some strange shit, man. Let's read about them. Oh, oh, no, let me finish the scripture. Given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. And it, it said that they sold Jake for muskets and wine, man. See? For muskets and wine. And they knew exactly who the hell we were. Hey, they was uh, eating us. Eating monkeys. Doing all kinds of crazy. They knew, they knew who we were. They still know who we are. Why do you think the, the uh, so-called Africans were never classified as Negroes? Zodavan's Compact Bible Dictionary. D dictionary. I said dictionary. All right. Salakia. What does it say? It said, Ham, the youngest son of Noah, uh, probably, probably what is it, 96 years before the floods. Something about that. He said, he said uh, the, the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. So you got to ask yourself this question. What the hell does that mean? Well, it's contained in the Bible, but you got to read it. Okay. Verse 4. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon and Hamites? There's some doo-doo eating Hamites. Dirty, bl old blonde hair, uh, cows peeing on them. And, uh, nasty, man. And all the coast of Palestine, right? Will ye render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Now look at these Hamites. They fool. His words are not going to go out void. Let's, let's, I was talking about this earlier. Let's read it. Verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. <laughs> that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, listen to this very closely. This is happening right here. This is happening right in front of your eyes. The house of David. The house of David is being built right in front of your eyes. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. He's, he's raising us up. What? what? How? By the renewing of our mind, giving us this gift of prophecy. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Now the scripture said, uh, the, the people, I got to say this, the people of this world, they're going to say, well, we see wisdom in these old cats and all that. No, nah, no. Nah. Wisdom crieth aloud. And she what? She uttereth her voice in the streets. That's where wisdom coming from. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. So pay attention. Read the scriptures. Get all into it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Quam Yasharala and wa a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.